the season. That's the thing of the past here. Let's take a look. Sack straight green. It's young Ube, Mini, and Spintachi. Spintachi there rounding out this trio for Sac State Green. Sac State Green, they went 5-2 and two in the regular season. Uh, and these teams have not met each other in the regular season, being in, uh, in different divisions. But in the quarterfinals, Sac Sacramento State able to take a 3-2 victory over UTD, University of Texas Dallas, I believe is what that is. But looking at South or Southeastern Oklahoma over here, Southeastern Oklahoma, that's going to be DJ Bender and Crimson Chin. Crimson Chin looking like one of is that freshman player for Southeastern and them going 6 and 1 is just showing how good of a team this can be. Yeah, so what and their one loss, yeah, their one loss was to that North Dakota State University, that Bison Green squad, week two right there, and it was a three two loss as well, taking it all the line, and it looks like we're starting here in game one, and they're just trying to get straight to it. Almost a flip reset instantly. Young Ube Whoa. with the response. Okay. Oh my goodness, looking flashy and you know how we said this wasn't gonna be a sweep? Well, you know, <laughs> Maybe we spoke just a bit too soon because it's young Ube on the field. Uh, I mean, if we get a, a bunch more of uh, opportunities like that served up for young Ube, yes, I can agree. But uh, perfect positioning, perfectly maneuvered oh, that one. Got the hitbox right under it. See how many more opportunities like that there are here for Sac State Green young Ube. Monster clear. That's going to go back to the southeastern side. Small touch from DJ. Not enough to follow up. And that's a shot mid. Oh, my goodness. Almost cutting him in. And young Ube is feeling himself today. Looking as experienced as ever. But now it's Gamer City trying to be up in the air. It's going to be Mini going for that dunk. Not able to find it, though. A good clear from young Ube. Crimson Chin on the possessive. Gets a good 50. Trying to get that still to stay on the Sacramento side. Nearly an own goal. But a good save touch coming out from Mini right there. Yeah, so a little bit of pressure as of right now as Southeastern is trying to make something beautiful. Young Ube got, has got it done on offense already. Now getting it done on defense with an epic save right there. A little bit of defensive action. This one hit all the way on over. DJ now up to it and trying to reach down bottom as well as Mini. Looking for a major clear right here, but not going to happen as easily as it is said. Not at all. These teams definitely are still fighting. And Sacramento State hasn't necessarily found that breakout opportunity that they did at the beginning of this game. With a one goal lead, they don't necessarily have to as long as they can keep this on. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that, okay. Oh, what a dunk just coming off of that challenge. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, th that's just perfectly slanted. Nobody can draw that one up. You even see many just kind of flipping kind of towards us like, well, it, w it was a good attempt. Those are going to go in sometimes. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I mean, like, that's just a strong 50 coming out from the Cri Crimson Gin. And with a name like that, you'd expect something. Oh, my goodness. Great save from young Ube coming out. And young Ube making himself a bit of a difference maker in this match. You know, Southeastern has really had to play around him, or I should say against him. And it's looking harsh, but with a tie game on their hands, both of these teams still have the opportunity to cement their name in this game one. Absolutely, and both of these teams know that this is single elimination here within the playoffs. You lose, you go home with a nice job. Well done, you at least made it to the semifinals. Now hit on over, Mini with an honest shot, follows it up with a demo as well. Now trying to support the teammate though but that's a fantastic clearing many can't do anything but really just put it right on the nose of dj dj getting taken out immediately afterwards and it's back the other way here for sac state green sacramento state looking to get two more into the physical plays you know you saw coming out from mini coming out from young ube they're trying to really keep that pressure trying to force those mistakes early on in the offensive play so that they can hopefully have an easier counterattack or an easier open net. And now that's going to be a 50 spin to Achi, taking that to the left. It's going to be young Ube picking up the rebound. But Crimson Chin with a good hit midfield. Spin Tachi comes in last second. Got the full boost. Needs the save right here. It's Mini oh, with plenty Nicely of done. them in the stock. And now back into the corner. It's going to be Southeastern. Gamer City coming in for Bender here. That's the information that we had. Gamer City possibly 
uh, being the vendor player, we don't know, unfortunately. Been doing a fantastic job so far in this tied situation. A little bit of pressure here against the squad out of Oklahoma, but Crimson Chin gets it past one, looking for a second. There's only one real defender less, and young Ube takes this away with the greatest of ease until DJ comes in with a 150. And DJ played the time perfectly right there, allowed that third man to find a good footing to play that defense perfectly. But now it's Mini who's trying to get that pass. Young Ube takes the rebound. Mini back on the side while trying to keep possession. Maybe a little bit of an air dribble. Actually, a pass to the midfield, but it's shut down by Gamer City. Gamer City? Gamer City? Gamer City. It doesn't matter. Gamer that save City? is still beautiful. Well, Gamer City would be with a C, so I'm going to say Gamer City, like diversity. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That sounds about right. That's what I was right. thinking. Uh, Gamer City. Yeah, Gamer City. That sounds about right. I'm pretty sure that's about right. To say with confidence, nobody will ever, ever doubt you. I'm telling you. <laughs> telling you. Gamer City down the way right there. Now, see, the last time we saw a pinch like that, we know how it ended up, and that was for a goal for Southeastern. If they can manage to work their way, just worm their way, wiggle one in here, uh, for a game changer, I think that that's going to be really the difference maker, that uh, game changer, in the end of game number one here, because we're only looking at 20 seconds left, and all of these goals have been earned honestly. Definitely. I think that is one thing you can say for sure in this matchup because it doesn't feel like either team has necessarily an advantage over the other in terms of their team composition, but it definitely is cutting it close right here. Almost an opportunity for Sacramento State. Now putting it back mid, but we're going to get overtime in game one. <laughs> Does this answer your question here at Fiat, folks? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Saw a couple four zeros. Nothing we can do about that. Oh, okay, Mercy with a great hit. A Lansing shot with a great angle on it and goes after defender afterwards. Mini just kind of tearing through there a little bit too fast to really have gone forth and made that. Young Ube, this looked like a back pass, but really this is just trying to maintain possession for his squad, even if it might have been going the wrong way for a couple of seconds. Young Ube, a shot down bottom. Crimson Chin interrupts this one, sends it flying to the right. A decent little clear there. Oh, Spintachi does what they can. Backboard plays. Here is DJ, nothing in the tank, and then gets demoed immediately after picking up some boost. Three seconds into this one. Ooh, double tap opportunity coming out. Two have to defend that from Southeastern, but it, they do come out unscathed. A good, decent clear. It's going to have to be a shot coming out from DJ. Way too far right, unfortunately. Now getting the dunk on young Ube. Off to that left wall in Southeastern. Slowly but surely pushing down onto the offensive side of this match. A minute into this overtime, they do technically have unlimited time to get this in, but I know for certain that they're trying to get it in as soon as possible. So giving space to the Sacramento roster is not exactly the path they want to go down, and it looks like they have an open net opportunity. Oh, as soon man. as I say that, beautiful pass from Mini. Young Ube starts this one off in the scoring capabilities, finishes this one off in the scoring capabilities. About five minutes in between those two young Ube scores, in fact, and just shot in with like 85 miles an hour or something crazy like that. With, with Even with defenders in position, there was no play to be made on that ball. Oh, and Southeastern getting a bit feisty in this game too already. A pinch opportunity coming out from two from the blue side, but now it's going to be Mini on the possessive. A bit of an awkward play for Southeastern here, but they will come out with the possession, and now it's Gamer City. Gamer City coming out with the mid-center, but <laughs> young Ube not able to get the touch needed. This bounces high. This is an opportunity almost shot a bit too high. DJ tries to put it in, but not able to keep up with the speed. Yeah, so a solid bit of initial pressure here against Sac State Green. Southeastern playing angry. Like they really resent that previous and gotta love that. Back hit, nice job, nice position there for Gamersity. And Spentachi tries to make something good from this one. Tries to spend a little bit of gold from straw right there. Gamersity trying to run this one down with no boost though. In the air again, Sacramento State has a bit of space to work with, but it's gonna be straight back into their net. Mini gets a good touch into the corner, keeping that possession very well onto their side. This is gonna be an awkward touch for DJ Young Ube. Bit of an awkward takeoff from the left side of the field, not able to get 
any interference really, but with a good clear, they should be able to turn this back onto Southeastern's defense, and that's a good possessive touch by many. A 50 coming back. Crimson Chin a bit awkward right there, but it's Gamer City able to get the possession back onto the Southeastern side shot on net, and that's going to be straight in. Spintachi with the precision. See, this this does not look like 46 miles an hour. This looks a lot faster than that. Like, nobody can really even get into... Like, Spintachi does what they can to try and block this one away, but really just, like, between the momentum that they had and the angle of this one coming into goal, there was just no real capabilities. But Sac State Green, what, they, they took the W in game number one eventually, right? That never really leading within regular time with Southeastern striking first. Or, excuse me, Southeastern striking back, uh, like, what, 30 seconds afterwards or something like that, and it was a 1-1 game pretty much for five minutes. Yeah, and now Sacramento State is able to still play the slow game here. I don't know if that's necessarily the strategy they want to put on to Southeastern, because Southeastern, even though... Oh, whoo, it happened again! <laughs> Even though they weren't winning, they still have a lot of opportunity and Crimson Chin. What is that play? Oh okay. my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is more like a fantastic pre-jump. The last one was more of like a just totally random pinch between two players and the wall. This one was a fantastic job from Crimson Chin. Oh no, young Ube <laughs> does it to them again. Oh my goodness, you cannot shut this guy down at all. Like, that was a perfect shot. Can't even defend that. I don't even know if that was necessarily in, but you have to play like it was. And now Sacramento State, even though Crimson Chin got that a beautiful pre-flip, Sacramento State still has this lead. Yeah, and uh, that's that's not on Game Mercy at all either. That that is entirely you know gotta call it as we see it. That is entirely on DJ and Crimson Chin. There was one player that actually got this like crazy angle, and neither of them makes a contact on, even though both of them go. So. A misplay right there. They're going to pay for it. Spentachi forced to play on the defensive role, trying to come off the wall, jump at this one like Spider-Man, but not going to have to do it quite yet as many flips and turns this one to a teammate. Crimson's going the wrong way for that one. DJ spins this one the way he likes it. Ooh, oh my god! That's going to slide in. Almost a save from young Ube, but DJ actually getting this beautiful double tap that was going to float in and... Oh. Beautiful response from from Southeastern. Just a beautiful response, a beautiful way to keep themselves in this matchup. That was insane. We have been blessed with a whole laundry list of fantastic oh shots. Fantachi spinning up another one here. There is not a lead that's allowed to live in this Rocket League game, Fiat. Oh my goodness, these teams are just treated us to goals after goals. I knew exactly that this wasn't going to be a game for sweep. These teams are so neck and neck. I do not know what's going to happen on this kickoff. And in fact, it's an opportunity for Southeastern. Go for the the puck coming out. Almost another opportunity but luckily saved by the crossbar or saved by the side post I should say southeastern within one yeah still a game still a game still no lead more than one as well folks uh, okay we're fine. Uh, obviously not between the uh, the the two one overtime situation nor here three two right now Sac State did strike first crimson chin sends a banger across the middle that one's not gonna land no points on the board but an effort for trying on that one. Everybody from Sac State is now back. We have a defender there. That's a fantastic clear. DJ sent running for the hills to try and get this one out. Actually centers it up. Almost puts it on the nose there for Mitty. Spentachi unfortunately trying to rip around this one. Can't get to the big boost. DJ up for it as Spentachi, and Spentachi wins it. Spentachi got forced to take that dunk by the bump attempt. I'm not exactly sure who it was from Southeastern, but that bump attempt really didn't make that play a bit more awkward. And now we're seeing a bit of boomer ball coming out from each side as they try to find that right possessive touch. It's going to be Spentachi to go from Southeastern. This is an open net opportunity. Crimson Chin comes in last second with the heroic save. Now off the return to off at the air dribble. Can he get it over? The double almost on net. Oh, this this team oh just giving me a heart attack right here. There's the oh. shot. Oh my goodness, this is this is so fast. This is too fast for me. Woo. 
they're, they're not done with the heart attacks, it seems. DJ coming off now with two of them. Uh, both of them looking. Uh, well, I'd have to say the first the first one, the slotted corner right there, was a little bit fancier than the second. But still, a, a tied situation and no small part thanks to the efforts of a player named DJ. Oh my goodness, these teams so back and forth. We might see a game two overtime, which I'm not sure if we've seen that in this stream before, but it is certainly welcome in this match. Now Smentachi off the clear into the corner, trying to get that fourth goal, trying to take the lead. Beautiful clear coming out from Crimson Chin back to the southeastern side. And now both teams in a bit of awkward play, just gonna kill it. Okay. And now game two overtime. But the big difference between game one and game two, and this is a really high scoring, just explosive affair. Solid <laughs> shot up, nicely oh done. Doesn't get credit for the save, but I'm pretty sure this one was money. And Southeastern would have been taking it to the bank. Smentachi, though, bringing it out. Here's the pass at Tim Crimson Chin. It's an elbow onto this one. Forces this one out. Okay, so everybody on Sac Street just kind of watches and waits for DJ to make a play. I may be hoping that he'd miss it. Not 100% sure. Oh, so now they have a bit of space right here to work with Sac State. Pushing <gasps> slowly down the <laughs> field. Oh my goodness, what would happen over there? Almost got a bit dicey, a bit spicy right now, but DJ up in the air. Good one for the bump attempt. Southeastern trying to get physical again. You love to see them finding that open space, but it looks like this even looks like a very evenly spaced rotation coming out from both teams right here as Gamer City, Gamer City comes out for the center, just a bit too high. Bringing that out, DJ doesn't get the ball possession, does get a demo, it's been Tachi getting on top of this one and making it a non-factor. Mini, nicely done, looks for the double tap, can't quite get it, Game Mercy gives this one a little bit of love and continues the momentum that they needed to get this one away from the source of danger and away from their goal. About 90 seconds left of overtime, this will be across backboard till Crimson Chin has something to say about it, gets a nose and more up and over for this out to dj but the possession goes back the way of sac state green excuse me mini takes it goes for the hit diving forward is young ube young ube coming off of a multi-goal performance in their own right now mini picking this one up after young ube dashes for a little bit of boost back to the middle we go this looks like a neutral situation that might last for a while and both of these teams are giving each other the same amount of space, the same amount of respect, generally, because they know that with the right amount of time, with the right procedure, they are able to get some insane plays. Both of these teams have been doing so well in that regard. And now it's going to be DJ trying to get the center, but Mini takes that ball off his hands on the possession to the right while a little bit of a fake out playing that time. Sacramento State just playing the slow game right now, Ooh. but they didn't need to. DJ comes out with the beautiful dribble, the instant counter attack. Love that, love that. And the thing is that young Ube actually can't really see through that smoke right there, right? Can't really see that DJ is right there, at least see the exact positioning, so the pre-flip. That better strategy to take on the Titans of Arizona, and it looks like Spentachi is like, hey, that title is a mine, sir. Wow, so another, uh, another really, really crazy oh. off pickoff. No, this is actually that's DJ. Not, okay, yeah, so DJ actually, Mongol, actually got that. Yeah. So DJ comes spinning down at this, just to try and get the pass out, but uh, a, a really weird hit across his car, right, right, right across like the hood, right across the nose, yeah. right there. Uh, we're gonna call it intentional, right, and, and call it a fantastic uh, play there for a Sac State Green member. Yeah, definitely. And you do need a little bit of luck on those plays, and usually, like those kind of weird redirect hits, usually come as a result of some lag and some ping issues. But usually that means that they were just a bit too far to get the beating <laughs> Crimson Chin instantly with the counter attack. Just off the dribble, a simple touch over one and gets the light touch in. No one able to save it from the Sacramento State side in a tie game with 430 left on the clock. And then this comes off the mistake of sending two Sac State Green players up along the same exact line there, Young Ube and I believe that was Mini. Might have been Spintachi, couldn't tell. At least saw Ube there. Uh, and both of them going along the exact same way, right? Uh, the middle of the field is left completely open, and that's just an easy 
a play for you know a player like the Crimson Chin. We've already seen what they can do. Defense is stretched at the end, and defender can't get there. A technical own goal, but still going for it. So, you know, we won't credit the full own goal, right? Not, not just yet. You know, I mean, this is... it's, it's not really an own goal if you didn't want to put it in. Am I right? Like, if you want to put it in, then it's an own goal. At least that's what I tell myself when I own goal. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen for either of these teams. Again, they have learned from their past mistakes and are really trying to adapt to each other in terms of their play style, in terms of their uniqueness. Okay. And Crimson Shin with the beautiful hmm. turnaround, just seeing that open net and taking a shot. This is almost, I mean, th then this is no shade to anybody. DJ had some fantastic shots in game number two. Uh, game Mercy is playing a fantastic kind of middling position between the offense and the defense. But Crimson Chin really and Young Ube here for Sac State Green have been getting it going on offense and not letting up for anything. No stop signs here in this game. Ooh, that was a close shot coming out from Mini. Great save from DJ right there. And another 50 coming out. This is going to be an opportunity for me to take a quick shot. Crimson Chin there, ready. Straight at the defender for Southeastern. And now a bit of a low boost, a bit of an awkward situation for Southeastern here. Trying to find the clear. A bit too high, a bit too slow. A shot from Spentachi comes out, but it isn't necessarily in the net just yet. Southeastern retaining their lead, but almost as I say that, a shot opportunity coming out off Ooh, the sidebar. Oh, nice bump. Spentachi and the beautiful bump coming out to save Southeastern. Bro, he, he was winding up at that one. He was like, you lo you you could see that circle getting cut into the uh, virtual pitch here. Uh, just a tiny, tiny little bump, especially given how fast they were flying in at this one, because uh, otherwise that had been a goal every single day. Exactly. Now 2-1 lead for Southeastern. Not necessarily safe when you have young Ube with the pressure, the 50, up on his own side. Gets sent back to the Southeastern side, and now... You now, oh, sorry, the DJ trying to get up on that dribble with the flick and a close opportunity coming out. Crimson Trin trying to keep this in, but it's a good corner hit for Sacramento State. One more shot opportunity coming out from DJ, but it's saved by Mini. Ooh, if that was a little bit faster, that had been a goal, but not today. Game Mercy interrupts this one right at the middle of the pitch and saves an offensive drive that should continue here. Crimson Chin off the corner as well, just keeping this away from a couple of Sac State Green players, but not for long. Is that now they come back looking for a tying shot Ooh. right here. The double demo. Crimson Chin takes out not one but two, but nothing found. Oh. Defensive side, okay, okay. So uh, this is a great job from Crimson Chin to come in, like especially when you can draw a lineup like that and get two players caught unawares. That's fantastic. Two for the price of one, I'll take that price. Oh, Young Ube off the ceiling almost with the shot off the pass and Sacramento State still looking strong still keeping their head up high even though they aren't in the lead in this game three they do know that anything can happen it looks like Minnie's trying to take the shot Crimson Chin goes with DJ to get the save and now it's back middle Young Ube not able to put oh. that shot on net all three of them in front of the ball this is going to be almost impossible to 50 into the net DJ gets bumped shot from Mini, not on net. A double commit coming out from Sacramento State. Still should be fine. This is a bit awkward for Southeastern to get off of their side, but in the corner, this should be a bit of a breakaway opportunity for DJ, and it is the pinch, ground pinch, going back to the Sacramento State. And now have to start back all the way from the midfield. That's not bad looking back. Board and inside. It's Young Ube, and it's Young Ube yet again. 42 seconds left. As Young Ube finds the tying factor here for Sac State. Uh, fantastic job. This doesn't happen. A, without the backboard pass from Mini, and B, with Mini, without Mini, like, dashing down bottom while he still has that max speed attained to take out the defender. Just a perfectly executed play coming out from Sacramento State. That's kind of been the overarching themes that both of these teams are just playing well. They're both playing at their peaks. But at the end of the day, it's got to be one team who wins it all? You can't have two winners in this type of bracket. But now that's going to be a hit to the midfield. Responded by Sacramento State. A shot coming out front. Spentachi almost the double tap. A bit too fast. And Gamer City able to get the clear to the left side. We are 10 seconds away from a third overtime situation. Fiat and I were lamenting about 4-0 sweeps. Well, if anything but that, as we are looking for our first actual 
like real lead in this one. Sac State did strike first, the answer from Southeastern, but now this is the side who actually comes forth in this series, a significant factor. Overtime situation we go. Someone tells me there's gonna be a shorter overtime. I don't know why. I don't, you well, the last overtime that was what about four minutes, right? I believe, or was it? A min I'm not 100 percent sure about the time, but, but I. The feel... first one was the first one was pretty long. The second one was like a minute and a half. Oh I think. yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Yeah, but it looks like Sacramento State is really pushing up on this offensive counter. No team has really had the uh, advantage in overtime, but it's going to be Spentachi with the possession, trying to get one for Sacramento State. Great clear coming out. DJ is going to have to react to this pretty well, and he does. Pass to the right side. Grimson Chin opting just to leave the play. A bit of an awkward opportunity for Southeastern, but now it's Gamer City with the possession. Tries to take the fake. Gets low 50 by Young Ube. A hit to the midfield. Two have to go for Sacramento State. Mm. A minute into this overtime, no one has necessarily found that shot that they need. Yeah, and Southeastern right there. Oop, nice hits, nice hits. But yeah, there's still there's still a player back. Uh, both of these, I mean, you can see both of these teams are just like snapping into a defensive position, just like as pretty much as quickly as they can. Crimson Chin actually taking a bit of a risk right there, going for the demo and not going for goal as well because uh, they they got it on his hit off of that. If that angle had been true, this would have been a different situation. They would have gotten scored against and lost a game. Ooh, in front of the net, Sacramento State needs a little bit of something right here. That's a shot on target oh, saved by Mini. A beautiful redirect coming out from Young Ube. Mini should be able to take advantage of this just a little bit. Game Mercy, actually. Monster clear bumps coming out. Physicality coming out from Sacramento State almost on net. This is going to be sent straight back to the midfield where Crimson Chin is going to be able to get that clear in Sacramento State. As you said, they're coming back from their own side and now a bit of a possession mini with a shot and it's shut down immediately by southeastern and both of these teams just locking each other out on the defensive side yes they are they're pouring a lot of defense and it's paying off here both like really just kind of trading shots back and forth a little bit of boxing match here we have in our third overtime game of this series sac state up Another like one, Spintachi just kind of waiting in the wings as they need to. There will not be a big crazy open net that's going to take it down right here. Or at least it's not going to happen for two and a half minutes. And I'm officially wrong. This is not a short overtime by any means. Not at all. We have half of a regulation game here already completed in this game three overtime. It's going to be Gamersity with the pinch opportunity saved by Young Ube, a power clear. DJ's a bit in an awkward spot, and I had to put that into the corner, but this does allow Sacramento State to have a bit of possession right here. DJ reads that off the backboard beautifully. Spentachi gets to hit to keep up that pressure. Both of these teams still playing pitch perfectly, and now a bit of a lockout three minutes into this overtime. Young Ube going to try to get this flip reset in mid. Going to be a shot for Mini. A weird Ooh, one! Okay. And that's going to come out with Sacramento State taking this game three overtime. I love this. So, j this is just about racking him up. Like, no team can possibly be expected to go after all of them. Oh, well, sorry, that is a little bit of a mistake there, right? Southeastern was doubling up on uh, Mini here as well, doing fantastically. But it's Young Ube that has really been showing off and popping off here when you're talking about a Sac State Green offense. Simply making it so that you know he enters your side of the pitch and you know even one third of the times he ends up demoed. This Ooh. is gonna be a lesson taught. It's young Ube oh. is gonna bring out the lesson book though. Oh a masterful passing play coming out just speeding from the corner it's been Tachi setting that straight middle and young Ube sees that bottom left net open for the taking and able to get the first goal it's going to be sacramento state they do have this lead in the series but nothing is safe when you're going against southeastern uh entirely fair entirely fair correct me if i'm wrong we've not seen a two score lead like in regular time so far across now four games right no, i don't think we have because every game's been overtime yeah yeah, like even within regulation, we haven't seen like a two-score lead that was overcame, right? I mean, obviously yeah. we did in a 1-2 game, and the first game, second game went 3-3, three, three, then overtime, then... Yeah, no, I, I do not think that we have. Uh, if there's any, any more proof, folks, that you need that these two are very evenly matched teams, how about this game, Mercedes score right here? Uh, and how about overall, these two teams never having more than a one-score lead, and even a one-score lead just not really living, just going the way of the Dodo immediately. 
Yeah, Southeastern just plays off of that open net opportunity that they were given from Sacramento State. That third man in an awkward rotation trying to find those pads and not necessarily able to get back to defend that hard angle. Although I don't, I'm not sure if there was a third man back, that goal would have been saved. Southeastern, though, able to tie up this series so far and now pressing back on the Sacramento side. It's Crimson Chin in the corner, shut down immediately by Mini. Young Ube takes that ball off and now it's going to be a dunk Ooh. coming out. Out from him. Oh this man is a superstar, Tugboat. She, a superstar who just went Super Saiyan, it seems. Young Ube, is that a triple tap? Is that quadruple tap? I I'm not sure is, if I count yeah. that high, Fiat. Oh my goodness. Just, just beautiful coming out from Young Ube. He has been the difference maker. We saw that in the game one with that beautiful uh, aerial play that he had. And it's just like... Sacramento State, every other player is playing super solid, but they understand their roles. And there you go, Tugboat, a 2-1 lead, or a two-goal lead for Sacramento State. First two-goal lead from either of these teams within this competition thus far. Uh, perhaps it is the writing on the wall that it is Sac State, this team that is technically, I mean, not technically, they are up, I shouldn't say like that. It just happened in over time. They're still painting the picture, but still very evenly matched two teams here my friend definitely two goal lead now sacramento state is going to have a bit more it's going to feel a bit more comfortable to play a bit more on their own side than you've seen this game but as soon as i say that young ube's trying to do it all himself going for that fourth goal and now two go for southeastern this is technically an open net if you can put it on and he does young ube what can i say he's always there he's him he is him Really, this is now a three score lead and given that it just seems like Sac State has figured out exactly what they need to do on offense. Not only have they possessed this for so much time in the past two minutes, a little bit less than two minutes, it's really the fact that Southeastern can't quite get a clear to a player who's not going to immediately give it to a player named Young Ube. No, it's just uh, it's just domination. It's pure domination coming out from young Ube because he understands that just putting on that offensive pressure, taking those quick shots, not like messing around in front of the net is exactly what's going to catch Southeastern off guard. But now Crimson Chin trying to catch Sacramento off guard. It's been Tachi with the hit into the corner. Young Ube able to get the touch. And now it's Mini with the good clear back to the Southeastern side. Crimson Chin has a little bit of a hit, but it's back to the midfield. It's been Tachi able to get a small touch, but game Mercy City able to take back the rebound. Okay, Mercy doing a fantastic job now spreading the field. A solid shot and now bouncing ball in DJ is going to be able to get this one in from Game Mercy. Game Mercy has set up more goals than Southeastern has scored in this matchup than not. Yeah, that was a close, just the third man wasn't ready for that. And it's just a hard play to really read from Southeastern. Two goal deficit for the Oklahoma College. And now, Spentachi into the midfield. This is gonna be challenged instantly by Crimson Shingy Mercy, able to take a little bit of possession into that corner right now. And a shot opportunity coming out. Mini has to come in last second for the save. Pinch by DJ, zero boost into the midfield. That's gonna be taken off his hands by, guess who? It's Young Ube in the air again. Oh jeez! Yeah, that was that was Crimson Chin. I knew this one was hitting the OGs with along with me, I believe. Uh, two scores, two minutes. This is doable. Southeastern just really has to show again the same team that we have seen who's been incredibly evenly matched thus far. Great hit out from DJ, but this just puts it in the breadbasket of a mini. Now another follow up here as the plaid clad mini. I just realized what his car skin was. That, that like, looks hard, like a. Though. Wait, that's a kind of a hard design. Looks like I a, might have to steal that one. Do it, dude. It looks like a Thanksgiving Day shirt, like a button-up. <laughs> it looks so good. It's actually so creative, and that's the one reason. Oh, you know what? It's just a great It's a great design. I'm going to steal that one. Two to four for <laughs> Southeastern University here. Game Mercy trying to get a hit in past Mini, but Mini gets it past him instead. And now the physicality coming back out from Sacramento State. They have a bit of space to work with. It's DJ with the beautiful dunk, though. Keeping them away 
from that southeastern net, from that blue side. A bunch of people go on that side. Now it's Young Ube with the breakaway possession here. Not able to get the hit off the corner. It's Game Mercy hitting it back to his own corner with the possession. Crimson Chin in the air. Can he do something amazing? A good flip reset, a good fake, almost a dunk into the net, but not exactly enough. It's Spentachi with the response. And wow, Southeastern just keeping up this pressure very well, even though 30 seconds left, an Ooh. opportunity needed right there and not exactly to be converted. It was a close one. It's a close one indeed. Two scores, Sac State writing on the wall, just play defense. I mean, if you can stretch this offense and burn this time, that's fantastic. But you don't want situations like that. Okay, they have the young <laughs> player, the uh, young Ube player back, but two of them right now. That's what's necessary. If they hit this one, they'll at least have a kickoff. I'm not counting it impossible until that says zero. Okay, there now impossible goes. here. Now Im My bad, I totally can count. Game five right now. Sacramento State trying to win this one, trying to shut it out in a 4-1 series, but Southeastern doesn't give up just that easily, and now it's Game Mercy with some pressure. A good hit from Mini into the corner, though, is going to relieve some of that. Oh, okay, great job from DJ, knowing exactly where the party was at. Now is the middle of this pitch okay so crimson chin tries to work some magic for the teammates here looking for the pass a little bit of a bouncing ball would have been fantastic if that was centered up a little bit more but another opportunity coming up spintachi no boost to be had can't quite Ooh. get up to that one and that's gonna bite them in the behind dj or excuse me dj fantastic shot but spintachi i mean he even has like 15 or so that's gonna be enough to get into this one yeah, it was just a hard read because from his angle, it looks like that ball isn't necessarily in, that it might bounce out, but it bounces straight down into the corner. And that's just one you have to have instinct on. You have to understand that that, that DJ will put that on net every single time, especially when the stakes are so high in this matchup. Southeastern cannot lose this one or else their playoff hopes will be crushed by the Sacramento State, Sacramento State Green roster. Young Ube now stuck in the corner of Southeastern, trying to leave on low boost. It's going to be many to sustain this pressure right here. Game Mercy has a bit of possession into the corner, taking that air dribble. It's Young Ube. Spentachi! Ooh! Shot around the defenders, and Sacramento State tied this game up. And talk about threading the needle as well, people. Look at this one again. You see this just like green walling closing right there. DJ and I believe that was Game Mercy closing in at this one. Both of them making a real honest attempt at this one, but it's just threaded perfectly right down the middle. Okay. Vamos! Yeah, what a beautiful goal. <laughs> You're going to love kickoff goals. I love, I love seeing the kickoff goals. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm a oh, kickoff no. merchant. You know, and so that one does hurt a bit for Sacramento State right there, especially because that was a totally avoidable situation with just a bitter bet with just a bit better communication. But South Southeastern, they're not gonna think about that too much. They have the lead right now in this series, and now they're just trying to get a few more on the net, and it looks like they might do so. Mini, a beautiful touch on the save, and the Sacramento State defense has just been looking solid throughout. Yeah, like the, the nose down on that was perfect. Many uh, put themselves in the perfect positioning as well because there's really only so many places that flat top can send this ball. Fantastic positioning. That's even better save there from Spintachi, a ball that Sac State Green was trying to assume the offensive position like already cheat up a little bit, and that almost came back. Ooh, now up in the air. It's going to be Game Mercy looking for the flip reset. Might get it around one. Is oh. that an own goal? Oh, that's not what you want to see if you're Sacramento State. Immersity, I don't even think had the angle really right here to put it on net. Well, a little bit. Yeah. But that's still an awkward position, an awkward play coming out from Sacramento. Not exactly what you want to see. 3-1 yeah. for Southeastern. I'm going to theorycraft a little bit here, Fiat. Uh, you come off the wall. This has like a better angle, like out. But coming from the bottom right there, especially after the second hit, there's just nothing doing. And that one gets sunk deep right into yeah. Sac State Green's goal here. Now, a two-score lead for Southeastern, which is not a situation that we have seen. Not exactly so far have we seen that. We just saw our first multiple-goal lead on the last game in the series. And now it's going to be Spentachi trying to tie it up 
for Sacramento State. A shot coming out from Young Ube. Going to be way too far left into the corner. It's going to be Crimson Chin off that counter. Just taking a slow little dribble across the net, across the field. Almost an opportunity. <laughs> no one there for Sa for Southeastern. And it's kind of understandable why when there were three people in front of that net. Yeah, they're just kind of walking and escorting it. You know, just just <laughs> waiting for the shot to come in so they could block it on the other. But uh, no real angle to have like gotten this one out. Crazy hit right there, just ping pong shot. Trying to set up for the defense. DJ is oh, DJ oh. was there. It's a low slow roller and Crimson Chin third shot first goal. DJ and Gamer City accounting for the other three in this one. A total momentum shift in this series. You thought Sacramento State really figured out Southeastern. You thought Young Ube was just unstoppable, but now a 4-1 lead for the blue side is feeling pretty comfortable right now with less than two minutes to go. Banger from Crimson Chin gonna be to DJ. Not able to make contact, but Crimson Chin still able to keep the ball on Sacramento's side right here. A shot coming out, DJ back into the corner. This is gonna be a good touch for Mini Boost Steel coming out from both sides and now up in the air it's going to be mini with the redirect back onto the sacramento side but they're going to be able to take that very slowly dj a good dribble around one young ube not able to put the shot on with low boost uh, they're really not right there that's been an issue for uh, individual players from both of these teams a few times so far switching on here spintachi this is a really really like oddly set up offensive drive here against Sacramento State Green but uh, this I mean about 60 seconds left you got to go forth and you got to get into the offense you got to get a clear right here and you got to get it out to a player yeah pass back a bit awkward for Southeastern but DJ comes up with a follow-up a double tap oh my goodness why did I even doubt them beautiful goal coming out Gamer Gamercity just sets that up perfectly and understands that you can just fake that and leave it for your teammates to score five one for Southeastern, and they are looking dominant in this game, a total momentum shift. Yeah, I, I can completely agree with that. Uh, four score difference, this is really a Southeastern giving a Sac State Green back exactly how they were given it in the previous, uh, saying, like, yes, we're on match point, we will still multi-goal you. As of right now, four score differentials, especially given you know three overtimes, then you get beat by two. This is a statement right now, Fiat. Exactly, Tugbo. I mean, like, this is the game that they needed to get going in this series. You know, oh, a little bit of a back center. Almost something special coming out from Southeastern. But exactly, you know, Southeastern is showing up. They're playing the game that Sacramento State was trying to play. You know, they're trying to play those quick counterattacks. They're hatching that third man off guard. Crimson Chin with his second of the day. A beautiful goal just completely open. You got to think, what happened to Sacramento? Yeah, I, at the end of the day, this is just Sac State trying to find a little bit more to get this one away. As I was saying earlier, right, loss of five, loss of one, it is all the same, but this is not the end of their season by any means. There's still a two-game run required after this one for Southeastern to take this one down versus Sac State Greens. A little just one and done. 6-1, maybe 6-2. Or on the Southeastern side is how do they keep up with this momentum? Are they able to sustain that dominant game or will it be a closer matchup? Are they going to be faltering? Maybe Sacramento State is able to adapt to that type of play set, to that type of rotation that Southeastern was really thriving on a banger towards the net. Going to be a bit too slow. Mini gets the save right there for Sacramento State within a minute of this first game or of this sixth game. The sixth game, yeah, longer, longer series again, folks. Many looking for boost and finding none. Spintachi got a little bit to try and get something done on the defensive side of this one. Now take to the skies across the middle, try and interrupt Ooh. this one. A bouncing ball gives Crimson Chin and Southeastern the lead. And a good dunk coming out from Crimson Chin right here. Just goes up early, reads Spintachi's touch perfectly, and it bounces too high for young Ube to really get to that. Southeastern showing that they can sustain that pressure, that they can sustain the momentum, and that nothing is going to stop this diamond of a team. Yeah, they, they are they're playing very, very well so far. Uh, really, just, we're looking at a different team since the end of that fourth game. 
Four minutes left in this one. A mild lead here. Southeastern had themselves a time just trying to find more than a one goal lead, but that was attained plus a lot there. DJ easily reading this one out, trying to take it to the walls. Lose a little bit of boost along the way. And DJ now kind of hanging out, babysitting that big boost to try and pick this one up and get something done. Now has it. Oh, pass coming out from Doesn't have it. Ooh. Oh, man. So this is partially the fault of DJ, right? We, we, we see, we've seen DJ right before he moves right there, like be sitting on that uh, side boost for about three seconds and not getting back with the rest of his team. At, the, at a certain point, you just have to sacrifice for the team and pick up a small little pills on the way. Exactly, and Sacramento State really had like so too much space if you're Southeastern, you know? Like, you want to be comfortable on defense, you want to have some time to play, but you also need to make sure that you're not giving enough space for Sacramento State to figure out where your weaknesses are on defense. And that's kind of what happened there with DJ just being out of position, like you said, up on that mid boost, not exactly where he needed to be. And now Sacramento State ties up this game number six right here spentachi bit of an awkward touch high gonna be dj passing that back mid left to go for sacramento state and it's gonna be a devil coming out from dj you wanted to see a little bit of physicality right here you want to see a little bit more shock coming out for crimson chin and you do get a little bit more tugboat yes you do and you get crimson chin involved uh, as well this isn't like a play that's really drawn up as well this is just game mercy taking huge advantage of a wayward ball they get an awesome possession off of a defensive clear gets this right up on in and Camson chin is going to send those sailing all the way in for a point uh nine nine times out of 100. flip reset opportunity coming out from young ube but now it's game mercy with the shot on net saved by mini still sacramento state Pushing onwards in this game number six, knowing that a one goal lead is never safe in a best of seven series, especially in a playoff series, but I don't think it's gonna be a one goal lead, nice Mini. Block. Beautiful save, just beautiful. Pitch perfect. Yeah, and Mini coming right off the respawn as well. Uh, e like obviously the other side would have been a little bit clearer, so really just had to stretch this and really maintain uh, ideas of exactly where this ball was. That's some fantastic awareness, and they are not down 3-1 because of it. Not at all. And now Southeastern has to come back to their side. Still, they haven't looked completely comfortable on defense yet. But able to sustain the lead, they don't need to worry about it too much. Spentachi trying to get physical here. Now with some demos coming out, DJ has a bit of time to work with. Goes for the redirect. Doesn't necessarily work out. Crimson Shin able to get the hit around the first man for Sacramento State and the University. Forcing that back into the midfield. DJ, small light touch, but it's 50 in the midfield. Crimson Chin trying to keep it out. But it's going to be Sacramento State able to keep up the pressure just a little bit. Although that pinch was a bit awkward. It doesn't. Oh, oh it does matter. Minnie doesn't able, isn't able to put the shot on. Wow, that's just a tiny bit too high. And if this, if this game ends at a 2-1 scoreline for Southeastern, especially if Southeastern goes forth and spins some magic in that game number seven, Sac State is going to remember back to that play right there. Now cross past Ooh. the middle, and this one's too high yet again. Game Mercy tries to get a nose up and under this one. Really just sends it uh, skyward right now. Mini hitting the ground with no oh. boost to be spoken of. An open net and a ball bouncing across the net, but nobody there for Southeastern to put this one in. Now two have to go there for Southeastern. That was a really hard 50 for them to capitalize upon, but they knew they had to go for that or else they were gonna give Sacramento State a good amount of space to work with to get that midfield. And now, back on the offense, it's gonna be young Ube, not able to put it on net a bit too fast. DJ has a good touch game. Mercy passing that mid to Crimson Chin, and that's gonna be a close shot, but saved by Mini. An open net opportunity for DJ. He can put it in what? top right. Not exactly sure how that goes. I think the third man was a bit lacking. Spin, nope, it's Spintachi right there. Spintachi like cuts on in for the big boost right there. And, and yes, if this had been like another like second, then they probably would have been able to get up on one block this one, but they were not. Uh, that's now two different mistakes here for Sac State Green uh, made in the for the intention of just trying to get boost and try and set something else up. But this is a fantastic oh. three answer. Spintachi 
Fantastic stuff right here. Off the kickoff as well. Ube gets it out to him, and Crimson Chin has no answer. No lead is ever safe in playoffs, and right now Sacramento State is clawing their way back into this game. They just need this win, and they are able to shut out this series. They are able to shut down Southeastern's playoff hopes. But right now, they have the lead in their hands, and Southeastern doesn't look like they're going to be giving that up anytime soon. It is on their side right now. A shot opportunity oh. coming out from Smetachi. I can't... I, I, how did this even happen? This is That was the craziest like mid-air redirect across the middle of the pitch, and once again, it's Crimson Chin who has nothing to gain on this defensive block. We are now in a tight situation. Something tells me 15 seconds is gonna be the longest quarter of a minute I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, are we gonna have another overtime here, Tugboat? I mean, I'm all for it. I like <gasps> overtimes personally, but boy, oh no. I oh don't need to see one. Spentachi, the goal, two seconds left on the clock. Oh my goodness, the pre-flip into the shot, bottom left and he can't get to it. It's just too fast. <laughs> It is Crimson Chin on the defensive side again. Spin Tachi putting Crimson Chin in an absolute blender. He's... Southeastern has to keep this ball alive and does not <laughs> sack State in six. Oh my goodness. They deserve it. They deserve it after that one. The last second goal from Spentachi with the hat trick. <laughs> it's exactly what this team is going to need into the playoffs.